Dear friends, today I will be dealing with you uh, 10 21st century skills needed in our classrooms. And these 10 uh, skills are very much in tune with the proposals of the National Education Policy 2020. And these 10 necessary skills are so important for a Catholic school, a progressive school, a Jesuit schools, etc. And we must encourage these 21st century skills in all our schools, in all our classrooms. So it, 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 it needs empowering our teachers on these 10 points. So the first uh, among the 10 is creating a scientific temper in our classrooms. We cannot simply teach children uh, uh, superstitions. We en must encourage our children to think critically, to have uh, uh, analysis on things, and based on this analysis, let them uh, make their own conclusions. Scientific temper means uh, questioning attitude. You know, education, the purpose of education is to create eagerness in the children to find answers for their already existing questions in their minds. And therefore, creating scientific temper is so much needed in the 21st century schools. The second aspect of uh, uh, this 21st century skills, 21st century skill is collaboration, encouraging collaboration. We all talk about collaboration, but collaboration is missing in many of our schools, especially today. And therefore, collaboration must be part and parcel of our educational system. We need to encourage collaboration among the, the management, the teachers, the students, the parents, all the stakeholders and also with the governmental agencies, local community. So collaboration must be the hallmark of our education. Um, today we are living in a world of interconnectedness. We are interlinked. We are interdependent. We are no more independent. Because our world is so, uh, became a, a global village in that sense. So collaboration must be encouraged among our children. And this collaboration will automatically reduce the, the divide that is happening among all our people in the name of religion, for example. Caste, religion, culture, ethnicity, language, everything has to be reduced. And we need to learn. Uh, the social skills of collaboration. The third point is encouraging digital literacy. We are living in a world of uh, uh, digital uh, communication. We are, in other words, we are living in a technology-based era. So therefore, a digital education does not mean that online classes or something. It's much beyond Every aspect of life must be aided by the digital devices that we have, the digital facilities. Therefore, educating our children to deal with these gadgets positively is including in the digital literacy. Therefore, that is a very important skill we need to encourage in our schools. We in the 21st century living in a world of complexity. A lot of problems we face. Therefore, the fourth point is problem-solving skills. Um, problems are there within and outside. And we cannot escape from the problems. It is better that we teach ourselves, our children, to, to solve these problems. And therefore, problem-solving skills must be part and parcel of our teaching learning process. The fifth one is better communication. We need to encourage our children to be better communicators. 
communication is so important you know they say the problems communication means conveying a message and uh, the message the, the agents which is uh, communicating must be reaching out to the people who is the receiver and actually the message is lost in between the messenger and the and the receiver and that is where a lot of misunderstanding happens and therefore proper communication is the only solution to solve the divide that is happening in our society and therefore communication is a must a proper communication and this will include also communication literacy for example media education we must give media education what is right what is wrong etc must be uh, well uh, reflected upon in the classrooms and teaching our children in a better way and the sixth point is critical thinking today when we look around the world what we see is very few people can think and analyze no the critical thinking is missing uh, in our society to a great extent uh, people are becoming more and more uh, of crowd mentality following a crowd rather than as uh, thomas hardy says no far from the madding crowd the famous novel no far from the madding crowd that means people do not have convictions of their own there is no reflection going on there is no critical thinking people simply gulp whatever comes without looking at the merits or demerits of it and that's how people becoming more and more gullible and our people are simply led by uh, or misled by somebody else's ideas that is where we need critical thinking uh, and critical thinking must be encouraged in all our classroom and the seventh point is creativity we need to encourage creativity in our schools creativity means not to walking through the beaten path we need to have a creative mind to have creativity whatever we do we need to be uh, uh, doing it in a unique way in a in, in a in a new way so creativity and innovation go together in fact creativity innovation and critical thinking go together that's why the ndp talks about that as a key principle the eighth point is health and fitness must be part of our schools health is very important and we saw during this pandemic period we see how important is the health care and a healthy body will have a healthy mind and vice versa so health and fitness is a must in all our schools and uh, this nep talks about that seriously and i think that is the 21st century skills we need to adopt in our schools and this 21st this health and uh, fitness doesn't mean that only physical fitness it's also social social uh, health must be there physical health of course must be there through exercises and games and so on we also need a mental health spiritual health etc every faculty of ours must be working in correlation with one another that is called the health and fitness so to to have a healthy mind we need a healthy society and uh, a healthy society is made up of healthy people that is why health and fitness is very very important in the 21st century education the ninth point is social responsibilities of individual father pedro arupe the former general of the society of jesus he talks about in 1975 itself he said uh we need to make the ultimate purpose of education according to him is to create men and women for others not uh, creating in our schools uh selfish monsters no we need selfless people abraham marcelo rightly says we have five basic needs uh, uh, five needs all of us have first one is the basic needs that which is called physical needs we also need security needs we need um, esteem needs belonging needs esteem needs and finally we need self actualization needs and i think self actualized people are socially responsible we need to consider each one as uh, an extension of the other 
we consider the other one is not an enemy but of an a part of part of our society we are social animals we need to live with one another and this social responsibility will reduce the social divide that's happening in the name of religion in the name of caste in the name of communities in the name of language and ethnicity we have a lot of uh, areas of division this has to be reduced because i must be responsible for the other and society must think in that level and i think this can be done only in our schools and school education must begin with these yeah, creating the social sensibility and social responsibility so that we live as a society of human beings not as monsters and finally uh, ethics must be uh, our focus ethics means values social values individual values human values personal values all these things moral values and uh, spiritual values uh, psychological values all this must be part of our teaching ethics is um, is so important for us in our schools especially 21st century schools otherwise uh, the existence of human beings will be in danger so 21st century skills must be encouraged in our schools and uh, uh, the, if you take into consideration of all these 10 points in our schools our schools must be better become better and it will be uh, helpful for us to create a better society i think uh, these 10 skills must be part of all our schools and in order to do this to impart in our teaching and learning process we must encourage our teachers first of all that is why teachers empowerment is so important for us and i urge all the principals all the headmasters of the school people to to school management to encourage these 10 skills to be part and parcel of our school and our colleges so that we together create a better world for us to live in somebody says no how good it is to live in order to love i think the society must have a new way of looking at education and to do that especially for us indians the national education policy especially the key principles of the national education policy uh, is definitely a help for us thank you very much and god bless you